first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. I'm here to plant a seed today, a seed that will inspire you to move forward in life with enthusiastic hearts and a clear sense of wholeness. The question is, will that seed have a chance to take root? If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. It's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. I believe in uh, manifestation. I believe in, uh, you know, putting a rocket of desire out into the universe. And, and you get it when you believe it. You get it when you believe you have it. And that's the key. It's like people still, they sit around going, when's it going to come, when's it going to come, when's it going to come, when's it going to come? And that's the wrong way. You're, you're facing the wrong way, you're facing the way from it. You have to go, it's here, it's here, it's here. Two shows a night, seven nights a week, Jim virtually lives in nightclubs. I would visualize things coming to me. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years. I dated at Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Insane belief in my own ability to manifest things. <laughs> Insane belief, you know, that I think it's ultimately complete sanity, but I believe we're creators, and I believe we create with every thought and every word, is every moment is pregnant with the next moment of your life. A few months ago, I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing. And how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe.